All right, May 1918, Eastern Front, Central Powers. The Germans have finally got all their units back, formed a line. Some of them were able to dig in that were there before, but next turn these will be able to dig in and maybe get some more reinforcements into the line. Uh, they moved some more up along the flank up here into the mountains, anchoring their line. That's pretty much a good anchor right there. You're trying to get around it, you're going to have to have to fight around those guys. So it's not likely, especially with the Russians. And so right now they have at least two unit deep with some with artillery. So that's pretty good at the moment. And they do have enough to possibly put another unit on. If they get everybody rebuilt, they have enough to put on there. But most of those are going to probably go to the west and central area at the moment. <clears throat> Over here, they formed a line right through here, moved a couple units in, moved them around and filled the gaps that they have. Those that were there are dug in now. So they have a nice continuous line, protect them from the advancing British. And we'll just have to see where it goes from there. So that's everything in the central area, no attacks in either spot they're just trying to consolidate their lines pulling back in the west well things are they do have their units in here when they formed our line last month now they're digging in right here and the units that were here are fall, have fallen back consolidated themselves into this area right here so they'll be able to get into that line next turn there might be a couple units, maybe this corner one might get kept, uh, tagged by the American units, but it's hard to say who's going to actually catch them or not, but we'll just have to see. I think it's one. Yeah, they can, these units can catch. Uh, this unit can catch, but it won't be able to do it with the artillery. And it, one, two, yeah, since it's clear on the western front. Any infantry can catch over to here, but you won't have any artillery support. So, uh, some units don't want to leave their artillery behind, so they'll have to reconsolidate and figure out how that works out. But at the moment, the Germans are forming pretty much a three front war right now. Yeah, I don't think their army was designed for a three front war. They were like one and a half fronts. You know, they had France, they took care of France. With some units on the um, east to just rein in the Russians, but they took the French out. But uh, with the Brits coming in from the south, putting pressure on Austria Hungary and everybody else, it was like, eh, well. And one thing I failed with the, the Germans with the Central Powers. If they had a few extra units that they could have spared, they could have sent them down here to while the route was still open. They could have brought some uh, German troops down into the Ottoman Empire to help support them out. If I play this again, most definitely will run some German units, some probably some of their weaker German units down here. But a weak German unit is more than a match for a lot of the. Uh, or equal to what you're going to be facing with the the Brits but now the one thing I find interesting is that is like you you read about the Battle of Gallipoli where the Brits couldn't even get out of the cliff because they were on the beach on the peninsula and it was rocky terrain and they had couldn't hardly advance but you know on the map it doesn't really show that as being this is like flat land and the only good defensive area they Ottomans had was right here and that can be easily bypassed with uh, a lot of units but it is what it is all right so that is everything for this turn we'll be back for the uh, allies it is May of 1918 Eastern Front this would be the allies turn uh, they moved up, formed up the line, almost caught completely, except for right here. They don't have enough movement to even get there yet. But they did move in. They do have some extra troops in reserve here, here. 
in here. They did do one attack. They attacked the mountain with a uh, three different army groups. And you see one army group is completely missing. They took the hex, but they lost a complete army group in the process of doing that. So they lost war to two. You know? But when you're attacking at half strength, except for your artillery, it kind of sucks. All right, so that's everything that happened on the eastern front right through here. Uh, it's hard to say if the, the uh, Russians will dig in, considering they just moved up into contact, so next turn. And the uh, over here, the Americans did catch over here. Like I said they probably would catch a unit there. They did, and they had uh, took them out, but it was at result of a couple half exchanges. Air power does help out a little bit with the one plus one dice roll modifier in one of their two attacks, which made the difference between having to worry about a full exchange or a half exchange. So that was helpful. So there you go. That would be everything that happened there. There is one other thing. So next month is going to be worrying about the uh, morale again national morale so we'll get back to that and see how that works out but in the west the germans are trying to get back into a form of line in the east they have a line and in the central they do have you know i forgot to do i had this attack i had not rolled for it yet but i'll you'll find out the results of that there was an attack that's supposed to that these three army groups were attacking this hex right there so i'll be back with that do an addendum when then forgot about this little attack but now we got it through it was costly for the british they did take the hex they did cross over the river right there so they had to attack across the river in two spots right there and you notice that there's one core that's uh well lost a bunch in the process took the brunt of everything right there with the exchange and uh other ones were uh, eliminated in the process with a couple three to one attacks that helped out greatly but you know it's not so good when you lose a bunch of troops in one one attack so the brits did get punched in the nose a little bit but so did the germans so they are slowly advancing across the line and we'll just see what happens from there all right We'll be back.